It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the crunch half tone effect in Autobots. I hope you guys thought the preview looked good, I thought uh, yeah, it looked pretty really cool, uh, found some inspiration on Pinterest and uh, yeah I wanted to recreate it, uh, show my own version of this kind of effect here. So uh, yeah I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. Before that, if you guys don't know, I have a website called editingvisual.com where we have a lot of editing packs that's going to help you out in your editing. Now, let's get into the tutorial here. So, I'm in After Effects here. I've added a footage I'm going to be uh, showcasing the effect on. So, the first thing you're going to be doing uh, with this effect is basically to roll the brush out. In my scenario, it's going to be Pink Pantress. Uh, so you're going to be rotor brushing out your artist. So now my rotor brush is done and it's going to look something like this here. And you're basically going to duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D. And the layer below we're going to be deleting the rotor brush effect for that one. So we get the background back basically. Now we're going to be creating the effect and how to make that is basically yeah, starting off by making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And the first effect I'm going to be adding here is called Sapphire Half Tone. And this is how the effect is going to look so far. And the first thing I'm going to be doing here is increasing the dots frequency to, I would say, 250. Something like this here. Looks good in my opinion. And then dragging down the dots sharpness to, say, around 1. After that, I'm going to be adding CC Threshold. So this effect is going to be making the footage purely black or white. This is how it's going to look. You guys can adjust the threshold here by dragging up and down. I think around 100 here looks the best for my clip. Something like this. And after that to get a little bit more texture, a little bit more grunge to this, I'm going to be adding noise. And I'm going to be dragging this noise effect above these two effects. And let's just increase the noise to around 16, 20 there. So you guys can see. You get the grunge here in the background and this particular clip here has a yeah a white background basically uh, so i'm going to be adding some overlays here to make it a little bit more interesting so for this aesthetic i wanted to use a yeah, japanese sign or uh, letter here i do not know what this means to be honest so i hope you know it means i search up love so i hope this means like love uh, but if it would mean some swear word, that would be a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. So, <laughs> I'm hoping for the best here. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna be adding Luma key first, dragging it on, then key out brighter. So you just have the dark here. Then you can drag it down the size a little bit. Something like that, looks good. I'm gonna be uh, animating this now. So I'm gonna be middle around here to the end where it stops to move the camera the camera is staying like still here in the music video so i'm going to make this fade out just like that and in the beginning i wanted to come from above so i'm going to drag it above just like that make this a little bit more in the middle after that mark the keyframes press f9 mark a keyframe go to graph editor now i'm in the edit speed graph um graph basically so it might be in the volume graph it looks like this just right click go to the speed graph and you will get the graph i have here you're going to be dragging the and uh, that one to all the way to the side this one to the side as well all of these to the sides and this is basically basically going to make it fast in the beginning slow in the middle fast in the end so this is how it's going to look looks a little bit to still there I'm going to be dragging these down a little bit something like that looks good you guys can press toggle switches and modes and you guys will get the motion blur function up here you guys can check this box here and you guys can see it's going to get this motion blur to it and you guys are going to be pre-composing this name it love sign or whatever sign you guys have and after that i'm going to be dragging this one under the grunge half tone effect and you guys can see it doesn't happen that much so i'm going to be adding fast box blur to the uh, love sound uh, pre-composition and here i'm going to be increasing the blur radius to nine it's up to you 
guys can adjust a little bit. Maybe six. After that, you guys can also add noise to it. Drag it to 100%, so it has a little bit more texture to it. You guys can see the difference. Looks super clean so far. I quickly just want to show you guys my recent editing pack CRT presets. If you guys add the adjustment layer, control alt y you can just go to your effects and presets, animation, user presets, and here we have CRT presets. And you guys can add, yeah, a bunch of effect layers <laughs> basically, but we can use the retro CRT for example, add it on. And you guys are going to be getting this kind of look here from that effect it looks absolutely amazing if you guys want to adjust the brightness you can you guys can just add a adjustment layer under drag it down so for example if you think this looks too bright you guys can just press ctrl alt y drag it under the effect add the curves drag it down like this here if you think it's too bright for example and yeah that's just one of the effects from that pack so you guys can also for example add I mean, we have some bonus effects here. We can add the dark CRT flicker, for example. And this is how the effect is going to look here. Looks super, super cool. So if you guys like the CRT effects, CRT aesthetics, you guys can check this pack out. I have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you guys will save $5 on the pack. Feel free to check this pack out. Let's get back to the grunge halftone effect. Now the last touch I'm going to be adding to this is a is a overlay, just a clean overlay you guys can use for the background. In my case, I uh, you know just downloaded some free overlays from YouTube. <laughs> you know, pretty simple. Uh, I found these stars here I could use, and I just changed the blending mode to different here because uh, I thought it looked a little bit better in my opinion. And the yeah stars are going to pop out a lot more because they were white before, so they will have this look screen you can't really see them so different uh, look the best in my case so I just drag the overlay under our rotor brush layer here so it's going to be behind uh, our artist so this is basically the final result you guys will be getting I think this was a pretty pretty cool grunge halftone effect you guys can yeah make and use for your music videos pretty pretty cool effect to use and if you guys also think so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the tutorial. If you guys thought the CRT presets, CRT effects, CRT aesthetic looks good, don't forget to check out the editing pack. Don't forget to use the discount code PELLE to save $5. It's available on editingvisuals.com. And check out our Instagram, join our Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.